Bobby, are you there? Yes. <laughs> you know, football, it's a game. <laughs> it's all about working in a climate action. It's all about... <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> Right. Uh, well, we'll come back to that in a second, uh, 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 Bobby. We'll, we'll talk about that later on, in the, but we'll come back to you if you just uh, stay on the line. Now, uh, Big Jack, uh, Bobby there, he's coming with Peter Beardsley. It, it could be something that uh, England could be looking forward to. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I was very surprised, you know, because uh, I used to say to the lads, I used to say, to, I said, I thought Bobby was manager in Middlesbrough. <laughs> Uh, no, well, we'll come back to you in a second. Are you still there, uh, Bobby? Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> now, Bobby, we talk about uh, the differences of overseas players and how they settle in. You've been working abroad now for some time, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> and it's been a marvellous experience, you know, in Poland. <laughs> Holland. Uh, and, you know, we've had a marvellous life. And, and when you're abroad, and the game's all about acclimatizing. And settle. <laughs> and once you've settled, and you know you're speaking, you know wherever you're going, there, there's a foreigner in a cafe bar, and you think, well, you're abroad. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but you know it, it's difficult. But you know the wife and I, we, we, we've settled abroad, and here we are in Holland, and we've uh, we've uh, we, we're speaking fluent Hollish. <laughs> And, and let's hope things go well for us. Uh, right, well, let's hope things go well for you as well there, uh, Bobby. We'll come back to you in a second. Now, uh, as I say, Jack, uh, you could give some advice, of course, to many of these uh, uh, of players, uh, and, and particularly to the managers that uh, Keegan uh, seems to be trying to take on. It's a very difficult job for him, isn't it? Well, it's a very difficult job for him. But uh, as I say, I, I was very surprised, you know, because uh, I never worried about... In a game, I never worried about tactics at all. <laughs> I, I said to, uh, what's his name again? Uh, I used to say to the lads, don't pass the ball to somebody else in the same side. <laughs> you know, it's a simple game, just pass the ball and give it forward. <laughs> and kick it. <laughs> uh, OK, we'll come back to that in a second, Jack. Uh, now, uh, as I say, Bobby, uh, uh, you've seen a lot of things. Any advice for the England manager? Well, I've, I've spoken to, um, you know, Terry Hoddle. <laughs> and Terry is a, you know, a marvellous experience. And he's a scintillating player. He's a marvellous, marvellous manager. And I think, you know... Right, well, we'll move on for that, Bobby. Uh, right, we'll leave it out of the way. And uh, moving along now, Kevin, of course, uh, things uh, have begun to change for you. And... Uh, it's been a disappointing uh, uh, start to your reign, uh, and the European Championship's still in the balance. Yeah, well, I mean, it is, you know, and, uh, but, uh, you know... Uh, well, you know, I'm not, you know, not really want to waffle on, but, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's hard, isn't it? And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's all about the game against Bulgaria. It was a terrific game, and uh, it's all about application and, uh, you know, dedication and... Uh, you know, concentration and, uh, you know, the NHS and the better pensions and, uh, you know, Mary had a little lamb and, uh, you know, there could be ten green bottles standing on a wall and, uh, you know, that's what the game's all about and... Uh, well, you don't seem to be... You seem to be waffling there a bit, Kevin. Now you said you weren't going to waffle. Yeah, well, I mean, we've had a very difficult time, you know, and... Uh, but, uh, you know, as I say, uh, it's not just about, uh, you know, the people in the club, it's about, you know, the people who paint the white lines and the... You know, I mean, the bus driver, of course, who's, uh, you know, I mean, he's, uh, he's got a diesel engine to worry about, and, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm very happy about it, but uh, the tea lady, the pies might be hot or cold, and uh, you never know. And right, well, we'll come back to that in a second, anyway. Uh, Laurie McMenemy, uh, any advice for Kevin? You're a, a manager for some time now. Uh, well, I think uh, the only advice I would say to Kevin uh, is enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy it. I'm uh, living in Southampton, which is close to Belfast. <laughs> um, 
therefore, uh, my advice is just enjoy the game. And myself and Joe Jordan, of course, and uh, Pat Jennings sit on the bench together. And I think we look very nice. <laughs> Let's uh, talk to uh, Gazza, who is alongside us. Paul, uh, you never thought that uh, things would have come to, uh, uh, to this, but uh, you've buried the hatchet with Glenn, have you? It all started uh, back then, didn't it? Yeah, I think it did, like. And uh, <laughs> as I say, uh, I'm, I'm as fit as a butcher's dog now. And uh, <laughs> uh, as I say, uh, I won't be going into the kebab shop myself uh, <laughs> anymore. I'll just send someone in anyway to get me one. But I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's all behind me now. Uh, and as I say, uh, the diaries that uh, came out uh, when the when Glenn's book came out, someone showed me it. And as I say, it never worried me. I just coloured it in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, You've just coloured it in. Right, thanks for that, uh, Gazza. Uh, we'll see you after the break. You've been a marvellous audience so far. Thanks very much indeed. Come back to you later on. Thank you. Thank